Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm Jody, Screen Doll Girl 3, and today I am going to show you how to uh, sew on a chandelier chain cover. I love to match if I do my chairs over. I'm a kind of a matchy girl. and um, But then I got the idea to uh, use this wide burlap ribbon. So what you're going to need is, uh, I usually do it about 5 inches wide, and any length of, uh, double the length of your chain, approximately. This is a little short, but I think it'll do the trick. But mostly this 5 inch length, uh, 5 inch width uh, fabric. And you don't have to sew the edges or anything, because I'm going to sew it on, and I'm going to turn it inside out. You're going to see it, it's cool. So, this is what I do, and I'm, you know, I'm going to be rushing a little bit. Yours will be a little more, you know, you can take your time, but I, you know, I know everybody's busy, so I'm just going to try to be quick, and i got to try to get it in because the burlap has some spots. So, you sew it on, like me. I'm standing on the table, so be careful if you do. And again, I'm just doing it kind of quick because, you know, I like to do my videos in real time, and so that's what I'm doing. So, you sew it on. And you're going to see, um, you kind of keep it even. And uh, I'm going to space it out a little bit. But if this was fabric, this would be the wrong side. So it would be inside out. Because like I said, we're going to um, turn it inside out. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But I'm kind of doing it fast, obviously. And it's easy. You know, and when you do yours, you're not going to be playing beat the clock. So, you know, you'll be able to take your time. And um, for me, I, um, I learned the hard way. <laughs> Normally, I would have the lights off, really. But, um, you know, I need a little light on the subject. So, this is how we go. And again, I'm just going to do it kind of fast. Just get it done. And even if it's a little bit of a messy stitch on this side, like I said, we're going to turn it inside out. So that's the fun of it. And your arms might get a little tired. You could take a rest normally. So, getting there. Oh, got a stitch there. So you can see it kind of taking shape already. And, you know, burlap is the the latest craze. So I have another needle waiting, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. There's really no other way to do this because I wanted to show you um, sewing it on, which of course you're welcome to um, you know, take the electricity, get your husband or if you know how to do it, uh, to unhook the juice and take it off, but um, that's not really something that I'm comfortable with. But if you want to do that, then you don't even have to sew it on. You could just um, sew it down and then weave it on. But um, this is how I've been doing mine all these years, and I change it. Like I said, I, I like to change my fabric on my dining room chairs. My husband says there's going to be nothing left. But... That's what I like to do. So we're getting there. And you can see, like I said, it's kind of taking shape. And almost there. Uh oh. Oh, I'm burn myself here. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Getting there, my peeps. Almost there. Okay. All right. All right, I'm just going to make these big stitches here, so you get the idea. Okay, so. And then with the top and bottom, you're just going to be able to tuck it in. Ah! I couldn't have timed that any better, could I? All right, I think that should work out, so, okay. All right, 
right, so you get the feel. Now for the fun. All right, you're gonna take a chopstick or maybe a pencil that's not sharpened, and you're gonna start turning it inside out. And then you're gonna get the top turned over, and then you're gonna take your chopstick. And you're gonna work your way, shove it up, fold it under. And again, it's a little more obvious with a fabric that is um, the right and wrong side. So you push it up, push it up, push it up. Okay, and you're going to get to a point where it's going to kind of be easier to do. Pull it through itself. And here it comes, we're almost there, yay! Okay. And thankfully the burlap has a little bit of a kind of a casual feel. And we're almost there. Am I making sense? Okay. Ta-da! Okay, so there we are. All right, so there we go. We tuck it under, we kind of scrunch it up, and we scrunch it like that. And there we have a burlap chain cover. It could be any fabric. The sky's the limit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.